Kubernetes makes an application running in a cluster both available and responsive by effectively scheduling the use of infrastructure. Let's talk specifically about what makes up our Kubernetes cluster. As a reminder, the container for our online travel application is encapsulated in a pod, and a drone is associated with each pod Kubernetes deploys. Now, worker nodes are where our application containers actually run. To demonstrate how pods interact with worker nodes, we'll use these three lights. Each light represents a worker node. First, keep in mind that a worker node can be either a virtual or physical machine. Kubernetes manages this underlying infrastructure. By default, a scheduler automatically distributes pods across worker nodes to balance the available resources appropriately. Kubernetes allows you to define affinity and anti-affinity policies to allow a simple way to assign pods to nodes. To see that in action, we'll create a policy that tells Kubernetes to not run multiple instances of my application on the same node. We'll associate our three Kubernetes worker nodes with the colors green, red, and blue. When Kubernetes creates a pod and assigns it to a worker node, the drone will change its color to match the light box and then move to hover above it. We can apply our deployment with one replica. As expected, one drone takes off and moves to the worker node it was assigned. Let's scale to three. All we have to do is change our deployment to have three replicas. Because we had an anti-affinity rule in place, each pod was scheduled to a different worker node. What happens if we scale to four when we only have three worker nodes? Let's find out. Looks like our fourth drone is a bit lost. That's because Kubernetes is not able to schedule this pod and it's stuck in a pending state. It's important to understand and apply your affinity policies carefully. Kubernetes allows for both hard and soft affinity. You should rely on creating soft affinity rules if you want Kubernetes to fall back to its default scheduling when it's not able to meet your affinity rules.